Tonight, Monday Night Raw takes place once again from inside the WWE Thunderdome in the Youngling Center in Tampa Bay, Florida. And what we've got to be looking forward to, I mean, I say that slightly ironically, but what we've got to be looking forward to for tonight's show is a main event that consists of the WWE Champion Bobby Lashley going into action one-on-one -on -one against either one of his WrestleMania Backlash opponents, either being Drew McIntyre or or Braun Strowman. So tonight's WWE Raw on the USA Network will feature, of course, more build in the upcoming WrestleMania to the upcoming WrestleMania Backlash pay-per-view. As I mentioned, Raw will be headlined by WWE Champion Bobby Lashley facing either Drew McIntyre or Braun Strowman in a non-title match. Now, it was previously announced that Lashley will address the fact that Braun Strowman has been added to the WWE Championship main event at Backlash, making it a triple threat match. Um, but there's some other things that have been announced for tonight's Raw as well, and we'll we'll get into that in this in this preview because there is a lot that actually ha surprisingly there has been a lot that's been announced for tonight's show. That doesn't necessarily mean that it will actually happen because that's how Raw goes at the moment. Like there is there have been a couple of times there really have been a couple of times, and I'm almost it's not too bad with SmackDown, but it is for Raw. I always like and try to do preview videos like this before the, the big shows of the week, whether it's Raw or SmackDown, because obviously there's a lot to talk about. It's newsworthy. We're Wrestle News 365. It makes sense to cover the news. The issue is every time I've done, or a couple of times I've done previews for Raw, and I've done matches where like, one was like Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton. One was I was going to do Randy Orton, Braun Strowman the other week. And then they just don't happen. They, they, they just not in the sense that they don't happen because they do an angle to kick off the show. And then that explains why they're not happening or anything like that. Sometimes they legitimately just don't happen for no reason whatsoever. For, for whatever reason it is, most of the time it's because... This was decided that this version of Raw was going to be happening on Friday Night SmackDown when they advertise it. And then by the time we get to Monday evening or Monday afternoon, Vince McMahon shows up and goes, no, no, no. We're not going to be doing that. It's like the first time he's ever seen the script for Raw and then he decides to change it. So to be honest, to be honest, who genuinely knows as to what is actually going to happen tonight for Raw when it comes to this main event? Will it happen or not? I wouldn't be surprised to be honest, and I'll give you my thoughts on Braun Strowman about him being added to it. But I really wouldn't be surprised if what we're looking at, they're the hyping this up as Bobby Lashley's going to be facing either Drew McIntyre or Braun Strowman. I think he's probably going to end up facing both. I think that makes sense, to be honest, uh, considering that Raw is a three-hour show and the moment, the very moment, it goes to 8 p.m. Eastern time and Raw on the USA Network is on the air. It's just a scramble at that point by WWE to fill as much time as possible. It, it really is. They are constantly, constantly checking the clock, their watch, whatever, whatever way they have to tell the time. They are constantly checking that clock to see uh, how long have we got left? We've got, we got, what, an hour left? We've got two hours left? Okay, let's go to a recap package. Let's go to a video package that lasts 25 minutes. Let's go to a promo. Let's go to a vignette. Let's go to anything. Let's go to a recap of WrestleMania, even though that was about a month or so ago. All that kind of stuff. They're desperate. So, I really, really wouldn't be surprised if what we see tonight is Bobby Lashley pulling double duty. I think, to be honest, that probably makes sense. I could see a scenario whereby, say Bobby Lashley opens the show, because this is what they've teased. Remember, this is what they've teased. They've teased that Lashley is going to address Braun Strowman being added to the Backlash uh, WWE Championship match at WrestleMania Backlash. So I would presume, if I could predict this, and I did predict the concerto on SmackDown, so I'm on a roll at the moment. I fancy myself a bit. Um, I would say we probably see Bobby Lashley open Raw tonight. He'll be there with MVP. They'll cut a promo talking about how unfair it is, how Drew McIntyre should be just facing Bobby Lashley one-on-one, -on -one, how it's unfair to the champion in Bobby Lashley that Braun Strowman has been added, all this kind of stuff. That's what they're going to be, that's what they're going to be going for, I think. Then, after they do all the complaining, then it's decided that Bobby Lashley's going to be facing Braun Strowman. Bobby Lashley faces Braun Strowman in the opening match of the show. This match lasts, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. We get a no contest, a double count out, a disqualification. Drew McIntyre's maybe at ringside. He's on commentary. He's talking out through the match. And then we see a scuffle at ringside between either McIntyre and Strowman or McIntyre and Lashley or something like that. And then it's a double disqualification. It's a no contest, whatever. It's a non-finish. It's Monday Night Raw. That's what happens. Then it's decided by probably Adam Pearce or someone one like that, that because Bobby Lashley didn't actually officially face off against Braun Strowman or because the match didn't have a finish and it was promised to the viewers at home and to the WWE Universe 
and the virtual fans in attendance inside the WWE Thunderdome. It was promised that Lashley was going to go one-on-one -on -one, uh, with one of his opponents for WrestleMania Backlash. It's then decided that Bobby Lashley is going to be facing Drew McIntyre in the main event in a WrestleMania rematch on Monday Night Raw. Can you believe it? A WrestleMania rematch? happening on Raw. Oh, what a treat. What a treat. It makes Raw worth watching. That's what they're going to go with. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's the outcome. I think when it comes to Braun Strowman being added to this, uh, to this WrestleMania backlash match for the WWE Championship, I think he serves the purpose if he's going to take the pinfall. Uh, there was, it's becoming more and more obvious, and it's becoming plainly obvious, to be honest, that Lashley kind of has to, he has to retain at Backlash, he does, in the same way that he had to retain at WrestleMania, because he had to retain at WrestleMania, and I'm glad that he did, because I, I really didn't think he was going to, it's out there, it's on the preview that I did for this match, uh, for the match at WrestleMania, I, I thought that Lashley being the WWE Champion was just to give McIntyre his big moment at WrestleMania, to get given the moment he didn't have last year, when he won the WWE Championship against Brock Lesnar. And, and as time went on and as uh, after the match happened and Bobby Lashley retained at WrestleMania, it became really obvious that he needed to retain. You can't call someone the almighty WWE Champion. You can't refer to them and bill them as the almighty WWE Champion and then the first time they defend the WWE Championship, they lose it. I mean, that makes no sense whatsoever. And I know this is the show that really doesn't make a lot of the sense most of the time, but that wouldn't make any sense at all. So it was the right move for Lashley to retain the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. And it's the same vein that it'll be the right move for Lashley to retain the WWE Championship at WrestleMania Backlash. I can't see a reason why he, they should get it off of him at this point. There are so many reasons why Lashley needs to retain. Not that he should retain at WrestleMania Backlash, that he needs to retain at WrestleMania Backlash. He's the top heel on Monday Night Raw right now. And you look at that, that this brand, this show, are there a lot of other top heels ready to step in in that main event scene for the WWE Championship? Not really. Not really at all. The second one might have been Randy Orton. He might be turning babyface. I think he's still a heel. He's going to eventually turn on Riddle and they're going to feud. But realistically, there aren't a, top, a load of top heels to come in. Randy Orton feuded for the WWE Championship last year. He held the championship for about five minutes. So he's not going to go after the championship. Sheamus feuded with Drew McIntyre earlier this year. He's not going to go after the WWE Championship if a babyface wins it. There aren't any other heels. There, there aren't any other heels to win the WWE Championship here. So it's kind of, it's all or nothing, really, when it comes to uh, Bobby Lashley retaining the WWE Championship. So he has to. He, he, he has to. On top of that, you know, I, I just don't see anyone... Obviously, Drew McIntyre could win the WWE Championship, and that would be fine, but you've got something in Bobby Lashley. You've got something, and if you didn't switch the WWE Championship at WrestleMania, why would you do it at WrestleMania Backlash? WrestleMania obviously had fans, fans in attendance, and then they decided not to switch the championship and not to give McIntyre the moment that he didn't get last year and all that kind of stuff. So why would you do that when there aren't any fans in attendance at WrestleMania Backlash? It doesn't. It just doesn't make any sense there. And on top of that, you know, Lashley needs to be booked strong. He's a, he's a dominant, as I mentioned, he's the almighty WWE champion. Why would the almighty WWE champion lose the championship on his only his second defense? It really doesn't make any sense. So I think there's only one outcome. And I think that's why Strowman was added to this match at WrestleMania Backlash is because Drew McIntyre Drew McIntyre still being one of the top baby faces in WWE, arguably the top babyface in WWE, and certainly the top babyface on Monday Night Raw, they don't want him losing clean or losing in general two pay-per-views in a row, taking the fall, if you were, or the submission. It was surprising that Lashley beat McIntyre clean-ish at WrestleMania. Obviously, there was a bit of distraction by MVP and all that kind of stuff, but they don't want that. To, they don't, WWE doesn't want to do that two pay-per-views in a row. So how do you get out of Lashley and McIntyre being in the same match and being Lashley still holding on to the WWE Championship, you put in Braun Strowman. You put in Braun Strowman. Strowman can take the pinfall or the hurt lock or whatever, and Lashley can retain. I think it's the way out. One could argue if they're struggling to get out of a Lashley-McIntyre match, why would you book it? But that's what WWE does. They book themselves into the corner with these kind of stuff, and then they panic, and as they get closer, we go, oh, we need, to, we need a way out, and Strowman is the way out. So I think adding Strowman in, Strowman in. I, I'm not against it. I'm really not. I'm not one for all these WrestleMania rematches. I think it's a bit tired, to be honest. And I know that they had obviously had a WrestleMania rematch on on SmackDown this past week for the Intercontinental Championship. And I know they have having one next week with Cesaro versus Seth Rollins. I just and and I know historically, 
Backlash or the pay-per-view after WrestleMania is WrestleMania 2.0 and it's just filled with rematches and sometimes the rematch is better uh, than the WrestleMania match. But for me, it lessens WrestleMania and as a fan, you get lulled into this sort of weird period, this weird, weird couple of months after WrestleMania where you just feel like you're watching the same thing over and over again and there's nothing really exciting. So I'm glad that Strowman's been added into the match, to be honest, because I think it, it gives us something different. Not that Lashley or Matt and McIntyre was bad by any stretch of the imagination, but it offers us something different as a, as, a, as a fan, as a viewer to watch. It gives WWE a way out so Lashley can retain. So don't have a problem with it. I, I really don't have a problem with it. I think, if anything, it makes quite a lot of sense, actually. Now, as I mentioned, there are some other things that have been announced for Raw tonight. So I do want to touch on them briefly before we wrap things up on this preview. So tonight's Raw will also see Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler defend the Women's Tag Team Championships against Lana and Naomi. Uh, shrug, to be honest. The women's divisions on Raw and SmackDown are just a mess at the moment. Unless it's involving Bianca Belair, Sasha Banks and Bayley, I have no interest. I, I have no interest. The disparity between Raw, SmackDown and NXT in terms of the booking of female talent is staggering. I don't know what's going on when it comes to the women's divisions on Raw and SmackDown. It certainly isn't an issue with talent because they've got a ton of it. Um, <laughs> I praise, I'm careful how I say this, I, I, I suppose I praise WWE for featuring the Women's Tag Team Championships on both shows. I think that's a good reinforcement of the rules, but I just don't care. I, I really don't care for it. And I don't, Shayna Baszler was one of the most dominant superstars in NXT history. She just eats pinfalls for fun on WWE television. Nia Jax is all about slipping over and doing ridiculous stuff about slipping over, even though they edited out Mandy Rose slipping over at WrestleMania on Peacock. It just... This show, to be honest, Raw <laughs> is just such a difficult watch. And it's such a bad show. It is such a bad show. And it just gets enhanced by how bad it is because it's three hours and it's just it's painful it's so painful to watch and so difficult to watch and i just i really really don't care for it i really don't care for it but i, I guess that's just what this this show is at this point it's just it's too much it's just too much uh one thing to look forward to tonight on raw is that the raw tag team champions aj styles and amas uh, are finally finally going to be appearing on monday night raw for the first time since wrestlemania they're going to give the new day their rematch from wrestlemania 37 i know i've just been saying i hate wrestlemania rematches and i do i'm just glad to see uh aj styles and amas back on tv i don't know what happened to them there were rumors about possibly one of them being injured or considering it's been what three weeks two weeks or so um you could possibly look into other illnesses or whatever but i'm just glad that they're back that's that's I, I enjoyed the, the match at wrestlemania it was all about amas i thought it was booked perfectly and he's an attraction at this point and it's it's interesting it's new i mentioned about the, the wrestlemania backlash main event new and different is great because we don't get enough of it in wwe so I'm glad to see them back, and I'm excited to see what happens. They'll win, obviously. There's no way the New Day win the titles back. I mean, the, people got angry when the New Day won them back just before WrestleMania, so they're not going to win them back post-WrestleMania. That's not going to happen. Uh, a couple other things that people are talking about heading into Raw tonight is uh, what's going to happen next with Charlotte Flair and Sonya Deville. Is that going to allow Flair to go after Rhea Ripley? Again, I'm, I'm not a fan of Charlotte Flair. I think she's been put in some really difficult situations by WWE in the past in terms of overexposure and, and pushing her in, in positions where, really realistically, what can she do? The Sonya Deville thing is a bit odd to me because isn't she on SmackDown and isn't Adam Pearce her boss yet she can overrule him? I really don't know what's going on there. I just... I, but we'll see what happens with that, I suppose. Um, and that's about it. That's been advertised for tonight's show. So the main thing, of course, is the hype continuing to WrestleMania Backlash. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. As I mentioned, wouldn't be surprised if Lashley faces both men tonight. Uh, but of course, as always, it's just one man's opinion. What are your thoughts on Bobby Lashley facing either Braun Strowman or Drew McIntyre tonight on Monday Night Raw, or possibly both in singles action? And all of the other things that have been advertised for tonight's show on the USA Network. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll do my best to respond and reply to all of your comments. Really enjoy interacting with you guys. Talking about WWE, AEW, Impact Wrestling, New Japan Pro Wrestling, all things pro wrestling here on the channel. So be sure to get involved with the community. Drop a comment below. All opinions are welcome. If you have enjoyed this video, 
please do smash a like on the like button too. Really does help us out here on YouTube, get the rankings and get into people's recommendation feeds if they haven't seen our videos previously. But most importantly, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to Wrestle News 365. You can do that by clicking the bottom right hand corner of the screen right now. Or if you wait a few seconds, there'll be a subscribe button at the end of this video, along with another video for you to watch. Thank you very much for watching, listening, streaming, or have you come across this video today. And I'll speak for you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.